Hello my dears how are you all fine okay shall we start our today's class yes today at first we have to discuss about the things we must take care while constructing a house the most important point is we must construct the house that suit the environment next one plants and trees must be grown into the house premises then the next one is more window should be included for the passage of air and light the next one is planting grass and plants in the yards are better than concreting or fixing cement blocks then the last one is we should keep the house and premises clean always so these are the things that we must take care while constructing house okay shall we move on to the next topic dear children did you observe these pictures then say what do you understand from this picture yes the people seen in this picture live in great difficulty right do you know what is the reason yes there is no proper shelter for the people that we seen in this picture dear student is it possible for us to ignore their suffering no right so our government has provided several schemes for the homeless people to build their houses besides these government schemes there are several organizations and individuals who help the homeless people to build their houses so we know that the shelter is our basic need of our life okay shall we move on to our next topic our next topic is colorful garment we studied that shelter is our most important basic needs of our life right like shelter clothing is also very important okay i will show you a picture tell me dears what is this is our national bird peacock right look here dears how beautiful is the peacock it has very beautiful feathers right dear children why do they have these feathers yes the feathers help them to fly and escape from the cold okay dear students have you observed these animals then say what is their speciality yes these animals live in very cold places right their thick skin and hair helps them to protect from extreme cold is it correct yes so in birds they have feathers and these feathers help them to protect from cold and these animals they have thick skin and hair it helps them to protect from cold so be the human beings needs close to protect as from cold sunlight attack from insects and from dust and dirt clothes is also one of the most important basic need of our life so now we have to discuss about the different types of cloth dear children do you know the different types of cloth okay then say as woolen cloth cotton cloth and silk cloth dear children from where do we get these cloth yes woolen clothes are made from fur of the sheep and what about the cotton clothes is yes, 
cotton goods are made from the fiber of cotton plants then the last one is silk cloth dear children do do you know what is it yes it is that silk worm it is a kind of worm that grows on a mulberry plant we get silk fibers from its cocoon and we made silk cloth from these silk fibers okay my dears do you understand about the type of clothes okay my dears so now we learned about the clothes that are made of cotton wool and silk besides these are the clothes which is made up of artificial fibers like polyester and artificial silk in olden days cotton dresses were used more commonly in our country there were no stitching machine at that time so the woven clothes are worn without stitching leaves flowers and tree sap were used to provide colors to the cloth mahatma gandhi our father of nation used to spin spun thread on charka and wear dresses woven out of the thread so from the whole chapter shelter and clothing we understood that shelter and clothing are most important basic needs of our life okay my dears so we finished our chapter shelter and clothing okay my dears let's wind up our today's class thank you